points on the uh, Dow Jones. A very good day on Wall Street. Joining us on the news line, financial analyst, VP of Development at Sunrise Sports and Entertainment, formerly of Barclays, Yuri Mann. Good morning, Yuri. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us to make some sense out of this uh, market action yesterday. I guess the G20 met over the weekend, which I missed because I was totally focused on health care. Um, and uh, evidently that we're going to stimulate the world economy still. Yeah, nothing has come out of the weekend's G20 meeting that said anything to suggest investors that the uh, coordinated global stimulus effort is going to end anytime soon. You know, as the result, you know, the U.S. dollar continues to weaken, commodities are catching a bid, and U.S. stock futures are getting a bid. And, you, you know, you basically see this tight inverse correlation between movements in the U.S. dollar and various other asset classes. It seems to be back on. Uh, the U.S. dollar is, going to, you know, continuously going to get hammered, and uh, U.S. stock futures are seeing strong bids. But see, I think that's a mystery to a lot of people who are just looking at the values of their 401k. Why is the dollar getting hammered, making the market go higher? Well, you know, if, if you're an international investor, and uh, there's so many out there that are flush with cash at this point, they're looking at the U.S. dollar weakening, and they're saying, hey, these U.S. stocks, they look really cheap, you know, just like a European coming to Miami going on vacation can book a hotel room and it seems to be like a great deal for him because you know he's they're using a euro to convert to US dollars same thing with buying these assets you know they're coming over here and buying US stocks and uh, getting uh, getting a great deal because of the exchange rate and so ultimately while maybe in this country we're having a hard time because our dollar is getting hammered or we can't you know uh, invest so worldwide our market's doing well for foreign investors Yes, and you know, and, and I think as you know, as an American, I mean, you don't necessarily need to be that concerned about the fact that the dollar has weakened, um, you know, because it does create opportunities for U.S. companies. We're going to become more competitive. Um, we our products will become more competitively priced, and uh, will be, and, and hopefully that will generate some uh, job opportunities and and, uh, and and opportunities for companies in general in, in the U.S. Okay. What about uh, what about energy costs? Do you do you have any input on energy costs? Because that's one of the things that people around here are worried about is oil and, and, and heating costs. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, energy costs being a commodity priced in dollars. You know, there's this uh, there's a direct relationship there. So, you certainly you're going to see you know as the dollar continues to weaken, potentially you know getting hurt at the pump. Um, but you know, there's some, there are there's some positives for the economy as well to keep you know keeping inflation in check. You know, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, uh, the the exchange rate. Now I got to ask you a fun question, and I, I hope you don't object to this. But just recently, you were on Fox News. Yes. Um, and uh, you had an exchange with um, one of the Fox News ladies, who is incredibly attractive. Uh, what, what is her name? Ainsley Earhart. Yeah, you know, Ainsley Earhart. Yes, she's a, she's a wonderful journalist, and uh, <laughs> I know that. Are you referring to the fact that you know we were on we were on a few weeks ago? That's right. Yeah, I've actually got it, and I, I got to point out in your defense that I also do quite a bit of research on our guests. So I think that that's, that you did research on her, which will be justified. Hold on one second. Here, uh, you know, I went to Michigan. You went to the University of South Carolina. Whoa, we all need to reach out to I'm people impressed. we know that work in industry. You've yeah, done your right. research. How did you know that? <laughs> yeah, well, no, I read about you. Oh, well, thanks. So then she goes on to say that you were hitting on her. I don't think you were necessarily hitting on her, were you? No, you know, I mean, I, I think anybody who's going to get on national television, right. you know, you're going to be interviewed by somebody. You, you'd like to know who it is, and you, you get prepared for that. And I was just simply pointing out the fact that, you know, we had both graduated from schools with big alumni data, alumni bases and... Uh, part of my a book that I wrote, I wrote a book, uh, Getting Good Jobs in Tough Times, and I, I call on people to use their alumni da uh, alumni databases to uh, access uh, alumni and network with them. So uh, that wasn't re that I was not hitting on her, and uh, it's it, funny that you, you mentioned it, actually. Right after I got off that clip, I did call my girlfriend to make sure that she didn't feel like I was hitting on her, which I wasn't. So Did she buy your story? She did buy my story, and I think most people who watch that clip, they feel like... Uh, that maybe I was getting hit on, but that's kind of funny, yeah. Yeah, well, hey, you know what? I'm going to use that story next time I'm on the air with Ainsley Earhart, and I just pray that that will happen someday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great, thank you very much. All right, thanks for your time. It's 740.